Here's a Beyond the Pitch podcast quick hit from the WVSA Digital Network. It is. It, it can be problematic because it's not just about the blue light, which is alerting. So if you're looking at a screen really close to your face and the light is shining, you know, into your eyes, it's telling your brain to wake up, basically. And um, so it can be problematic in that regard if we're doing this right before bedtime when our melatonin is being produced potentially so it sends an alerting signal to the brain wakes us up makes it more difficult to fall asleep and potentially could wake you up during the middle of the night and it's also about what you're looking at that can cause problems as well so it may be see something on social media that really gets you kind of amped up and just makes it more difficult to fall asleep. So it's not just about the blue light, but it's also about the content that you're looking at. Um, And I know there's some times where you have to do homework late at night. So uh, having blue light blocking glasses to help uh, preserve some of that melatonin, I I would recommend for, for teenagers and kids who, you know, then have to work on homework late at night. I wouldn't use it as as an excuse to just play on your phone before bedtime. Oh, I got my blue light blocking glasses because it is about the content as well. But having that as a backup for instances where you do need to, you know, stay up late and work on homework and be on a screen can be a way to help uh, mitigate that. But having a bedtime routine where, or sorry, a bedtime alarm where you set this alarm uh, you know, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour before bedtime. And then just the best thing is to put away those electronic devices and then start a nice relaxing bedtime routine.